All right, day 19. What's going on? Uh, towel patterns? How many designs are possible? What the heck? What does that mean? <laughs> White, blue, red, or green. Oh, I see. How many of these words can we make with the set of words? Okay. Uh, zero sounds wrong. Sucks. Too slow. How many ways? Okay. Yeah, no points. Fast day though. Okay. Um so what's going on here? So we're given um the set of I'll say words that we can use, like and sort of targets. And for part one the question is how many of these targets can we make with these words? So for example, this one we can make with B R W R R. So this one is good. Um and so on. So we can solve this through DP. Um, so we can recursively, wait, we can memorize. So let's, how do we do a DP solution? We write a recursive brute force and then we memorize it. So in this case, you want to know, can we make uh, this target with this word? Um, and actually, well, for part two, it's how many ways can we make it? So we'll just solve part two as well. Um, so if the, we're trying to make the empty string. You can make that in one way with no words. Uh, that's like our base case. And then for each word, 
if the target starts with that word, we can try using that word first. So then we can make the target, you know, everything after that word. Um, and just try all possible words. So that gives us the a number of ways that we can make uh, that word. And that's our answer here. And then we can just memoize that. And the idea, I guess, is that we won't see too many different targets. So this uh, won't take too long, which I guess we can verify. Um, and then part two asks, OK, now I, don't, now I just don't just want to know if I can make the word or not. I want to know how many different possible ways there are to make the word. Um, so fine. I mean, we can just, like, I, this already calculates that. Um, you know, if it's an empty word, there's one way to make it. Otherwise, try all starting words and add up how many ways there are to make, like, the target, you know, without that word at the front. Uh, okay, so let me modify this to solve part one and part two. I'm going to call this ways. Uh... Okay, so that prints out 306, which is the answer to part 1, and it prints out 604 something or other 855, which is the answer to part 2, big number. Uh, and we can see that we explored 18,388 states. Uh, so that explains why this ran pretty fast. I guess we can also see how many words we had. So the runtime here is basically the product of these numbers, which is, you know, I don't know, like a million or something. Eight million. Okay, sure. Um, and it takes you know one and a half seconds, so that's plenty fast. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's pretty much all there is to say uh, for today. Um, just uh, dynamic programming. Um, not yeah. I mean you can see it's necessary for part two, right? Because this number is really big. We couldn't like brute force all of this. Um, but because we're going one word at a time, uh, it runs really fast. And I mean the point is like. You know, if you make uh, R, you know, RRB versus RRB end up with the same word, so you only need to solve GBR once, uh, not many times. Um, so that's why we can calculate this big number in only like 8 million uh, actual steps. Okay, see you tomorrow.